seat in a class. Students and staff still processing the tragic loss of one of their own. 14-year-old Coda Jarrett and his mother, Brooke Carnifix, were murdered at their home in St. Albans earlier this week. News Channel 3's Kim Rafferty had the chance to speak with Coda's band director, who says he was very involved, Kim, especially as a trombone player. Sarah, students and staff wear a pink pin. It has a trombone and an airplane on it. Coda Jarrett's band director, John Schaller, says that Coda wanted to be a pilot when he grew up. His favorite color was pink, and he was a leader in the classroom as a trombone player. Now students and staff have an empty seat in their classroom, a difficult and tragic loss of life for the Winfield Middle School community to process. Coda Jarrett joined band in sixth grade. He was extremely active all three years. He was involved in every single band activity that he could be. His band director, John Schaller, says Coda went to every band activity he could, from pet band to the after-school programs and performances at nursing homes. He was incredibly, incredibly kind. Uh, when we went to the nursing homes, you know, he, he volunteered to introduce the music that we played and he made sure to talk to every single resident at the nursing homes that we played at. Schaller says band is more than a class. It is a family. And when you lose a member of that family, suddenly it cuts deep. And uh, the band has really struggled to come to terms with it. Pink pins with a trombone and an airplane honor his dreams. It's really just a, such a tragic loss of promise because he was such a positive, upbeat kid that had so many aspirations and hopes. One of the last conversations we had is how he wanted to go into theater in high school and, and act in the theater. And I just think about all of the great things that he could have done. And it's just a life that's just tragically cut short. Coda's classmates and educators honor his memory with the empty seat at Winfield Middle School. My mom is actually going to sew a seat cover like you find at weddings, you know, his cloth seat covers. And every day in rehearsal, we'll put that cloth seat cover on his chair so we'll, we'll never forget him. A concert will be held at Winfield Middle School next Tuesday, and classmates of his will be playing at that concert. We'll be there and covering that vigil.